Good morning, everyone. So this is our report, The Nature of Sympathy, according to the philosopher Max Scheller. Max Scheller was born in, on August 22, 1874 in Munich, Germany, died in May 19, 1928, and Frankfurt in German, social ethical philosopher. Although remembered for his phenomenological approach, he was strongly opposed to the philosophical method of the founder of the phenomenology, Edmund Husserl. He was raised in a well-respected Orthodox Jewish family in Munich. Although he was not a particularly st strong student, Scheller did show early promise and interest in philosophy, particularly in the works of Friedrich Nietzsche. As a youth, he identified himself as a social democrat, enthusiastic Marxist. In the fall of 1894, Scheller started his university studies in Munich, but by the fall of 1895, had enrolled in Berlin. Although he had applied to study medicine in Berlin, he studied primarily philosophy and sociology, attending most notably the lecture of Wilhelm and George Simmel. So from Berlin, Scheller moved to Jena in 1896 to finish his studies under the guidance of Rodolf Eken. It was in Jena that Scheller completed both his dissertation and habilitation and where he began his career in philosophy. That was also during his time in Jena that he took a trip to Heidelberg and with Marx Weber, who also had a significant impact on his thought. So what is the nature of sympathy? Scheller defines sympathy as a capacity to feel and to understand the emotions, the experience, and perspectives of others. It invokes an emotional resonance with another person's feeling, allowing one to share in their joys, sorrows, and concern. So Scheller's natures of sim nature of sympathy explore the concept of sympathy it also referred to as empathy or fellow feeling and its significance in human interaction and moral philosophy. Scherler was a German philosophy, philosopher who made important contributions on the field of phenomenology and ethics. In his nature of sympathy, he delves into the emotional and ethical dimensions of how individuals connect with and understand the experiences and emotions of others. The empathy versus sympathy. Uh, while Scheller's work is often associated with the term empathy, it is important to note that his concept of sympathy goes beyond what is commonly understood as empathy. So sympathy involves not only understanding someone's feelings, but also emotionally connecting with them and sharing their experience. So, in this paragraph, the distinction between empathy and sympathy is being discussed particularly in relation to the ideas put forth by the philosopher Max Scheller. Although Scheller is commonly linked with the concept of empathy, the paragraph points out that it understand, his understanding of sympathy goes beyond the typical understanding of empathy. Empathy is a general understood as the ability to understand and to share the feelings of another person while it involves recognizing and comprehending someone else's emotions even if you haven't personally experienced them. It is a form of emotional understanding and connection. On, their, on the other hand, uh, this paragraph suggests that Scheller's concept of sympathy expands upon the idea of empathy. According to Scheller's perspective, not only involves comprehending another person's feeling, but also emotionally connecting with them on a deeper level. Additionally, it includes the notion of sharing in the experiences that the other person is going through. Uh, it implies a more profound emotional resonance, and a stronger connection where you not only understand the emotion, 
but also experience them to some extent. This paragraph also highlights that while empathy involves understanding someone's emotions, Scheller's concept of sympathy takes this a step further by encompassing emotional connection and shared experiences, making it a more profound and comprehensive form of relating to others. So according to Scheller, he distinguished three types of sympathy. First is the cognitive sympathy, or the understanding someone's emotions and experience intellectually. Second is emotional sympathy, feeling an emotional resonance with someone's experience and emotions. Third is value sympathy, sharing someone's values and moral sentiments. The cognitive sympathy means that you are able to intellectually understand and make sense of someone else's emotion and experiences. And this understanding is achieved through mental analysis, empathy, and possibly drawing on your own knowledge and perspective on how to relate to what the other person is going through. The emotional empathy, sympathy implies that you are not only intellectually aware of someone's emotions and experiences, but you also genuinely feel a similar emotion within yourself. And the third is the value sympathy. In this form of sympathy, the connection is built in a shared ethical framework. It goes beyond just recognizing someone's values intellectually. It implies that you feel a sense of alignment and agreement with their moral principles. This type of sympathy can contribute to a deeper understanding and rapport between individuals who share common values as it reflects a strong connection at a fundamental levels of beliefs and ethics. So what are the significance of sympathy in moral philosophy? Also, Scheller believes that sympathy is at the core of our moral understanding and ethical judgments. It allows us to grasp the needs and sufferings of others, forming the basis for compassionate and ethical action actions. Scheller believes and discusses the importance of sympathy in the realm of moral philosophy particularly from the perspective of Max Scheller as a philosopher. According to Scheller, sympathy plays a central role in our comprehension of morality and the way we make ethical decisions. It serves as a foundation for understanding the requirements and distress of the individuals, ultimately shaping the groundwork for compassionate and moral upright behaviors. By experiencing sympathy, we are able to truly understand the needs, emotions, and pain that someone else is undergoing. This understanding, in turn, is what prompts us to engage in compassionate actions and make ethical choices. Scheller's perspective highlights the profound influence that our ability to feel sympathy can have on our moral compass, it underscores the significance of understanding and sharing also the emotional state of others as driving force behind ethical behavior and the moral fabric of the society. So what are the importance of empathy in our social bonds and relationships? So Schuller, sympathy is a fundamental factor in establishing social bonds and relationships. It allows individuals to connect with one another in a deep emotional level, leading to a sense of community and shared humanity. This statement, social bonds and relationship, sympathy is a fundamental factor in establishing social bonds and relationship. Uh, it allows individuals to connect with someone, another, on a deep emotional level, leading to a sense of community and shared humanity emphasizes the critical role that sympathy plays in transforming connections and relationships among peoples. Sympathy in this context refers to the ability to understand and share emotions and experiences in the perspective of others. This ability goes beyond mere intellectual comprehension because it involves feeling 
and emotional resonance with another person's feelings and situation. This statement suggests that sympathy as a foundational element for building social bonds and relationship when individuals are capable of sympathizing with one another. They, they can connect on a profound emotional level. This emotional connection leads to a stronger sense of shared understanding, empathy, and compassion. Through sympathy, people are able to recognize the common human experiences and emotions that they share. This recognition of shared humanity contributes to the sense of community and belongingness. It also fosters an environment where individual feels valued, understood, and cared for by others, which in turn strengthens the social bond and enhances the quality of relationship. This ability to sympathize is a vital component in establishing a meaningful social connections and it will allow us individuals to relate to each other's emotions leading to a deeper sense of community, shared humanity, ultimately a stronger bond and relationship. So what are the importance of sympathy in our morality and social order? So Schaller argues that without sympathy, morality and social order would be difficult to maintain. Sympathy leads to a sense of responsibility and care for others, which in turn to contributes to the functioning of a just and harmonious society. In his per perspective, the absence of sympathy would challenge the upholding of morality and social order. He asserts that sympathy is a pivotal in co cultivating a sense of accountability and concern towards others, thereby playing a crucial role in fostering a fair and harmonious societal structure. So like the other philosophical concept, so Scholler's work of sympathy has faced criticism, particularly regarding the potential limitations of relying solely on emotional resonance <clears throat> for ethical decision-making. Some argue that empathy or sympathy should be balanced with reason and rational ethical principles. In exploring the sympathy, it encountered a critique particularly centered around the perceived drawbacks of exclusively and depending on emotional connection for making ethical judgments. Critics contend the empathy and sympathy should be complemented by rationality and ethical principles as an excessive emphasis on emotions alone might lead to inconsistent of subjective moral decision. So his influence and legacy. Schaller's idea have had a significant impact on the fields of ethics, phenomenology, and psychology. His exploration of sympathy paved the way to further discussions on emotional understanding, ethical behavior, and the nature of human relationship. Max Scheller's concepts have left a profound mark on ethics, phenomenology, and psychology. His investigation into sympathy have acted the catalyst for extended dialogues about comprehending emotions, moral conduct, and the intricacies of human connections. Scheller's legacy involved shaping the discourse on the subjects and encouraging a deeper exploration with the various academic disciplines. So in summary, Max Schuller's The Nature of Sympathy delves into the concept of sympathy as the capacity to emotionally connect with the un and understand the experience of others. He argued that sympathy is a crucial component of cohesion, forming the foundational for ethical behavior and establishment of meaningful relationships. To conclude, this definition of sympathy as the capacity to feel and to understand emotions, experiences, and perspective of others because it involves an emotional resonance with another person's feelings, allowing one to share in their joys, sorrows, and concerns. So thank you very much for listening and have a good day.